Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Capricorn. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're going to look at general energy and love energy. So let's see what the general energy is for Capricorn. General energy for Capricorn. The hangman. Okay, so you need to let something go. You need to sacrifice something. You need to be hands off in this situation because your approach has not gotten you the outcome that you're looking for. Okay, um, so the card is asking you to ask yourself the question, why haven't I gotten what I want? Okay, so you need to realize that maybe you might be the problem here in terms of your approach or what you're doing. It's just not working. Something needs to be, you just need to let things go or flow right now just so you can gain some enlightenment, clarity about how you need to move or how you need to interact or how you need to um, re-engage or how you're creating because something is not coming to fruition or formation. Um, let's clarify the hangman. You could be dealing with a Piscean person. Um, the queen, yeah, the queen of cups here, uh, Capricorn. Um, so you might need to take some time to develop your psychic intuition, your your intuition altogether. You might need to take some time to develop yourself. You don't listen to you. You listen to everything and everybody else. So you, you're getting validation or input from outside resource, but you aren't really listening to you. Um, you also may be putting other people before you or you have done this. Um, therefore, you feel left out here. Again, something about outcomes, not getting the outcomes that you're looking for. It says that you need some time to develop yourself, okay? Develop you. Um, you need to maintain your emotional stability because something is destabilizing you here. It's like you're trying to create something. You're trying to be in that creative phase and it's not going to the next phase or it's it, you're always you always feel like you're reworking or rewiring or recreating maybe like going to a new relationship going to a new job or this happens or that happens and then you get to start all over or you're starting at a place of um you know trying to re restructure the foundation what is this about for capricorn some of you could be in social work some of you could be um, psychic, psychics, clairvoyant, uh, tarot card readers, the star card. So healing, definitely needed some healing. Um, maybe something to do with large groups of people um, on a platform, uh, forgiveness from large groups of people or something you're trying to get or healing here. Um, you're also trying to get vindication uh, for something here. Yeah, you're trying to get vindication for something. You want someone to treat you with compassion, honesty, uh, forgiveness again coming up. Um, that's the only way that you feel like you can heal this connection. Okay. It's like people have a window in on your life or, or vice versa. I don't know. You're getting a lot of exposure, but it might be the wrong exposure. People are seeing you in the wrong light. Something about technology and large groups of people. I don't know, it could be gang stalking. It could be um, maybe someone slandering your name, maybe even libel. Um, something's going on here. Large groups of people uh, and, and you not being looked at in the best light or hanging around the, the wrong group of people also. Let's see what's going on for love for you, Capricorn. What's going on for my Capricorn in love? What's going on for my Capricorn in love? Okay, so two cards wanted to come out. The Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So very good. Um, you're in a place, you may be in a stable relationship. You're just nurturing it. 
I'm trying to put time and energy into it. You also could be working or you could be a working mother. Uh, you could work at some big facility, a hospital, corporation or something of that nature. You're very, you have a nurturing spirit, um, a caring spirit. So whatever you're doing, it, it serves you well. Um, you bring order, structure, guidance to chaos, drama, discord, breakdown, something of that nature. Okay. Um, the queen of earth. I don't even know why I went into work and this is love. You could be in a, a traditional marriage, a long-standing commitment. Um, you could be on your way to getting married or being married or engagement. You want something to be more tra traditional or um, you, you want like something to be official. It says with the Queen of Pentacles, make sure you take time for your loved ones. Make sure you, you do take time out for your loved ones here because some of you could be, um, there we go, could be uh, spending uh, more time on trying to, you know, better yourself, look better, buy this, buy that, go here, get your hair done, you know, toy around with the kids. More, you're just spending more time on yourself and maybe materialistic things. But says make sure you take time for your loved ones. Okay. Um, let's give me one more card for this for love. Yeah, the Empress. Is, once again, you could be getting ready to become a mother or to create something or go to the next phase in your life. Um, or parents, you could be getting ready to become parents, um, starting a new relationship, moving in together. Uh building your life learning how to um, build a life together share your life with another individual this is really good um you could be dealing with a taurus person libra what's this empress here because there's a third energy here what's this empress the ace of cups and the two of swords okay so it might be that in the high priestess, okay, so there might be another woman here, but with the queen of pentacles and the high priestess showing up in the same spread, it says that another woman is, she's not going to let something go too easily. She's ruthless. She is, um, she's a fighter. She's ruthless. She's going to go uh, to every measure to have, to, to be with. Somebody doesn't know about the other woman and she's in the background. It looks like she's getting more attention now. Or there could be a baby. There's a baby or, or there are children here. It looks like somebody's not giving up without a fight. Um, if you are estranged from someone, it says that reconciliation will happen, but not without it being planned or you guys have a plan, not without cooperation. I'm not, you focus on negotiating. What can you, you know, focus on compromise. What can you bring? What does the other person bring? Focus on um, seeing this through for whatever reason. This was a temporary break because um, there's a, a tug of war, a power struggle. Somebody's not letting go though. They're not giving up what they feel like they are entitled to, what they built. There is a woman here. I don't think she's doing much in terms of, you know, movement. She's just there in the background. There is a decision that needs to be made about maybe a baby and a woman. Let's leave Capricorn with some advice. What's the advice here for Capricorn? What's the advice here for Capricorn? What's the advice for Capricorn? The chariot card. Okay, move this relationship, marriage, business, whatever it may be, in a positive direction. Okay. 
um, take the reins, take the lead on this. Um, there's good and there's bad to everything. Just make sure the good outweighs the bad. Weigh the pros and cons and move the connection in the a new positive direction if this is what you want. If not, then it's you moving into a new positive direction all by yourself. This is promotion. This is um, going to the next level. This is achievement over obstacles. So for some of you in your career sector, it looks like you'll be getting a boost there. And in your relationship sector, if you still want your relationship, if you want your partner, it says move things in a new positive direction. Take the lead here. Don't just wait. Something, some, some secrets here though also. Okay, if this resonates for you, Capricorn, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Get in on the full moon ritual happening August 22nd. If you want to bring in new energy into your life, if you want to banish old toxic um, energies, you can with other like-minded individuals, um, we can uh, take advantage of the full moon energies corporately. So thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.